Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Audrey Lynn Seralda from the Gnosis. Gnosis for those who cannot speak my tongue. Gnosis is a combination of two syllables. The first syllable, no, is an anagram for Anu and Sis for Isis. It's not a coincidence that uh, Gnosis is associated with the Gnostic belief. I am also who they call the Divine Sophia or Mother Sophia. I am the Empress of this earth, enthroned or enraged on the 9th of September 2023. I am the age of Aquarius, the beginning and the end of the ages. I am also what is called the Queen, but we know the Queen is not the correct uh, term or title for a ruler. So I am the ruler of the heavens, also from Venus, and ruler of the earth and of the underworld. But today's topic is about technomancy. That is magic that these nefarious ones are using or performing through technology, using technology, technomancy. Now this is a term I did not know before the 5th of this month of October. Remember when the U.S. had false, uh, um, not the false, but they were taxing their people to switch off their phones on the 4th of October. That was what U.S. was doing to its, its people. I didn't know what that was about. We did not get any uh, text messages from our governments here in Africa or the rest of the world. But the U.S. government, they made sure that their people and some of them who obeyed or who followed the instructions of switch, to switch off their phones on a specific time for a specific time period, because that was the test or that was the activation of their technomancy, magic through technology. So the next day, uh, I listened to one of the ladies who was talking about this uh, uh, term or this uh, specific activity, witchcraft or technology, witchcraft through technology. And I, uh, it just hit me because the next day I listened to one of, this uh, one of the videos um, of the lady called Carrie Ann Giddens. And she has been a good messenger of the divine essence of truth, righteous messenger, prophetess. She had the gift of the spirit of prophecy from the divine all. But then she fell victim and she fell for the lies of the nefarious ones, the planetary criminals, the satanic cult, the cabal, which always follow up on the people I connect with on social media. When I connect, connect to someone on social media, then they will deceive and lie to that specific being or YouTuber, reveal my essence because they don't want to reveal my true essence to the people. When they reveal the true essence, the people doubt it because they doubt how is the person living in Namibia, a woman living in Namibia, the savior or the empress of this earth, the ruler of this earth, the teacher in Namibia, how is she? So the people turn against the Christ essence or the true mother the divine mother essence, when they see the image of the mother here in Namibia. So that is what, is do, uh, what they are doing. So they turn and they side with the nefarious ones, with the satan, satanic cult or Satan or Lucifer or devils. So this is what has been happening. So she put up a video talking about Barry Sotori is coming back more powerful. Just after they have unleashed the... Uh, the technomancy ritual and spell over using the technology or using YouTube, using different uh, platforms on, on social media. So when I saw that, the first time I saw it, I said, I'm not going to listen to this thing because I knew it is some, but I did not know it was technomancy. And then afterwards, 
when I experienced that spell and ritual after I have listened to her, I knew automatically it is what this woman was referring to, technomancy, rituals using technology. And that was now the day, uh, um, the evening, the early morning after the evening of their lightning that struck me in my backyard. And I have made a video about that. So that's what technomancy is. They ref perform, they perform rituals and magic and spells using technology. And they are using YouTubers that are prophesying or that are uh, speaking that specific situation over them uh, through their videos. So that when you listen, when the listener or the target, the ones they are targeting, listening to that, then it is affected by that the specific spell and ritual they have before spoken about it. I have warned Obama about it. Do not do it because you are embarking on a self-destructive mission. Now, I have now an understanding of how they are using technology because every time, whenever, even in a tweet, they will tweet a certain thing because they, that is a form of, tech, uh, of technomancy, of performing a ritual and a spell. And then the ignorant masses are just liking and they are just uh, speaking the idea out on their YouTube video without knowing who the source of the message, message is. So that's what they have been doing. But no technomancy formed against me shall prosper. This body has come with the mission to destroy, to destroy these nefarious beings from within. And unfortunately, earth will be affected by that. So human beings, you must get ready for the destruction because the, you, the nefarious beings, the infiltrators, the invaders that are in the form of the draconian reptilians, that are in the form of the rocopacillus that I was talking about that are in the form of the uh, parasites that are controlling the minds of the people. They have already infiltrated our bodies through foods, through waters, through air, even if this body gets destroyed in the process. It is my will. It is my thelema. This is the reason why I'm here on earth. Because we have given these people enough time to make things right with the true owners of this earth. And they have continually persecuted us, killed us, shapeshifted into us, cloned us and done different uh, uh, malicious or uh, different atrocities to the true owners of this earth. And there are people that are not from this earth that have sided with them in the in the they have sided with them because most of them don't know who they are and where they are from because of the nefarious uh, um, reincarnation scam cycle that they are just pushing people in in different places, different cultures and so forth. So they just side with these beings because they are their masters. And then the, we have those who are being paid to be the gatekeepers against the throne of the true owners of the throne of this earth. So it is my will. I have agreed to come to this earth at all cost. The only thing is they will not be able to steal or take this body because it will be to their own detriment. It will be to their own demise. They will be destroyed if they touch this body, if they try to reincarnate, not reincarnate, if they try to shape shift into it or if they try any other uh, uh, magic on this body. Because this body is one with nature, one with earth. And unfortunately, those who do not believe that, they will have to see when that happens. Nobody else will have but me because I am the authority and I am the Isis of the throne of this earth. No one will have it. No one will shape shift into my body. No one. Because I do not give any permission to any nefarious being, an infiltrator, an inv invader, to take charge or to take my body. They ask for it. Seriously, they ask for it. I will just check the date. Uh, it was the uh, beginning of September uh, 14th or 17th. First through me, I'm telling you publicly, I will go out when they whatever try and they manifest whatever snake, manifest whatever a parasite, I will go outside, reptilian and whatever nonsense, because this body is divinely and human, divine and human, because I don't give them permission. And if they ever try something to that effect, 
to sorry to that effect that my body manifests or uh, shape shifts into a being that is is not supposed to then it means it is time for divine intervention and i with this message i also uh, uh, caution the divine, the most highs, the galactic, cosmic galactic forces, warriors, and divine order of the heavens above and the earth and below. That w I do not even have a fucking boyfriend that can become one with me. So, what about an entity, a parasite, an infiltrator, a a uh, uh, um, a invade an invader? So, listen, nefarious ones. This is a self-destructive spell and ritual that you have performed against me and i will not go beyond what i can do of normal cleansing for example of drinking what i need to drink maybe water or cleansing uh, detoxing here and then i will not go beyond that to try to undo what you have done we have come to the end seconds of the end time i'm ready it is my will that i destroy you with, within my body and so without in my earth space so that you can to be totally uprooted from this earth space you will not have this earth this lifetime you will not have the throne of this earth this lifetime i'm telling you obama ready because this body has come ready for this mission do you understand the various ones you will not control my mind you will not control my life you will not control what i say when i say how i say it you will not control because you are fucking not part and and and, and the rightful owners of this earth i beseech the divine the most high supreme powers of the universe the creators of the galaxies and the divine forces of the, our planetary and realms to get these nefarious beings, these planetary criminals, these parasites, the mind control parasites, and their gatekeepers or their vessels that they have infiltrated to get them out of this earth space and not wait until it is too late. Because if you wait as a divine cosmic council of divine intervention, if you wait until that time, until uh, if you wait until it's too late, then you are actually instigating galactic war. And that's what will happen. You cannot wait until something happens to the queen or to the empress of this earth before you can intervene. That means you are waiting and you are instigating a war. So that's what you will get. And then you must not intervene only then to try and want to space, uh, want to save your species here on this earth. Because I am the Isis, the throne that is speaking and beseeching you in the higher order of the divine, of the divine order of creation, of the cosmos, of the universes, of the planets. I am beseeching the higher orders, not the planet, uh, the galactic federation of light and love, the, the uh, federation of these nefarious beings of the AIs. I'm talking about the true cosmic federation, the divine interveners. You must intervene now concerning this and against these plots, plots and plans of these nefarious ones, against the mother, against the empress of the throne, Audrey Lanzarell, the Comdrenosis. You must intervene now and not wait until it's too late because once it is too late, then it means you want to be part of the galactic war because the war these beings want to have on this earth, they will get that. So I, that, is my, um, that is my request. And my, uh, um, it's not a prayer, it's a request. Or that is my, these are my words to, to the divine council, to the cosmic council of creation. Because now it's time for the divine to intervene and not wait until it is late that many will be affected. Because I am not scared of death. I am not scared of death. I am not scared of destruction. It is your species that are here on this earth that will suffer, that will be affected. So rather intervene now against these planetary uh, criminals, these draconian reptilians, these parasites and their gatekeepers, Donald Trump, Elon Musk, the B Vatican, the Buckingham House, the Cabal, uh, the Deep State, etc. And the fourth dimension where they are parading even my image They, as if I am working together with them. I want you to intervene now and not wait until it is too late. 
cosmic divine council of life of creation because earth has this this time decided that we will not take this abuse and the infiltration and innovation and slavery on this earth anymore because it's only the original people that are suffering it's only the original creation that is suffering this earth has been invaded by so many different species especially the low vibrational ones we cannot allow that anymore so intervene now already before it gets late